puts the whistle in his mouth importantly doesn't blow it the game is made for a hero Jimmy Brennan he's going to cross the 45 changes direction finds Paddy McBrady a little dink pass will he take the mark he does Kieran Thompson the referee doesn't allow him to take it he's saying that Paddy Interesting, the referee off camera is saying to Paddy McBrady that he wasn't behind the 45. On first glance, I thought he was. So the mark isn't given. That said, Donegal's still a possession, so it's certainly not a disaster. McBrady, just inside the 45. Looking up, who can he give it to? Nobody obvious in that full forward line. It's a long play, it's an interesting one on that mark. I think Snowman has said that he was he came from inside the 45 to outside the 45. The kick to us definitely looked outside the 45, but listen, they know better. Oshin Gallon finds McGonagall, could be exposed, did really well on the verge of a throw ball. Depends the man in the middle. Referee saying it wasn't a throw ball, he was actually nearly holding his hand. Ryan McHugh. Paddy McBrady just temporarily got by McKay. Here's Brennan, gives it. Does he get the return ball? Instead, it's Oshin Gallen. Shot comes in from Michael Langan. Langan with the kick, and it hits the post and goes to the right and wide. Some days, Michael, it's it just feels like it's not your day despite the best efforts. That kick was behind the 45. When he kicked the ball, it was behind the 45. After he kicked it, when he took his first step, was inside the 45. Look, it's a close call for a referee to make, but... These decisions impact football matches. As Conleth Gilligan, the Armagh coach, getting behind his troops as Armagh race up his right-hand side. Ryan O'Neill tried to shrug off his player. He's going to go for it. Ryan O'Neill, he's got plenty of height, plenty of distance. Ryan O'Neill! Is that the way the signal has come back in the Armagh team? What a score from the Cross McGlenn man on the right-hand side. An Armagh player has gone to ground to try and hold up the match. But if that's to be a winner, what a way in which to get it. Seals between the posts and Armagh lead by a single score. What a kick, what a score. Just such fine margins. Donegal won the ball in the middle of the field from the kick out. Give it away slop, sloppily. And Armagh go up, and that man, Ray O'Neill, has come in. You know, what a, what a kick. We know he has the ability to do that. We know he can do it in his sleep. And again, just a huge, huge kick from them to put them into the, into, into the lead. John Horan coming down the road. I was listening to a podcast. He was on former Donegal footballer, and he felt that the, the way this game is going to be today, it's going to finish a draw. He seemed absolutely convinced of it. Will we see that as the tackles come flying in? 72 minutes on the clock. 1-9, plays 11. McGonagall, he's looking to give it to somebody. Can he get the shot off? The kick comes in. What a score from Donegal. Shane O'Donnell. He had the goal chance. He missed it. That one he didn't. It was a brilliant point and a credit to Keelan McGonagall. He didn't want to take a shot on himself, but he brought the fight to Armagh to drag his team to create the opportunity. A wonderful score on the spin off the right boot and the sides are level, 1-9 to 12. And are these two undefeated teams in Division 2 going to progress into Sunday night as both of them undefeated? There's still seconds remaining. Michael will come to you for man of the match in a moment, but <laughs> I get the sense he doesn't know who to pick at the minute. There's just so much more going on. Who's going to be the match winner if there's going to be one? Jason Duffy, possession now. An absolute lifeline for both sides. Kieran Mackin has the ball. Johnny O'Burns is looking at her. He's got it. Hugging the sideline. Who's going to have it? Johnny Oak Burns brings it over. He's still going. Johnny Oak Burns whistling through. Will he go for it? The fisted pass. It's gone short. And the, surely the foul coming in on Sean Patton is going to be a free out for Donegal. Well, his hands on his head. He knows the opportunity was there. And in fairness to Johnny Oak Burns, he whistled through. It almost seemed to sense that he was within a hair of a goal chance. Tried to get it, just couldn't get enough on it. And it's a free out for Donegal. Is that the chance that passes Armagh by? 
Yeah, it was so, so well to manufacture that opening yet again. Uh, he just felt out of all the options that were left to him, the first the first point was the last option that, that probably should have been taken. It was that right foot chipped over the bar. Maybe he thought he was going to get blocked down, but probably summed up the game and what we've seen here today. Some really, really good, high energetic stuff. Just that lack and that composure piece and that word that we mentioned. Referee blows the final whistle. It is finished to draw, 1-9 to 12. Both Donegal and Armagh, well, maybe they will meet again, maybe even in a league final. Who's to know? But both sides take a point apiece. They both will jointly top the table and they'll back themselves to make it into that league final, perhaps. But there's a few twists and turns to go. Cork beat Fermanagh today.